This is the uh, second video I'm doing. Uh, these are stoves I have in the shop. And uh, theme on a lot of these stoves, are, there are some stoves here that you probably shouldn't buy, as well as some pretty cool stoves. Uh, the first stove I ever purchased is that guy right there. Uh, it's a Venus. And uh, I think I paid 70 bucks for the stove. And uh, as I brought it home and researched it, I couldn't find anything online, but I'm pretty confident that it had a finial and a finial base, and uh, that it has the wrong feet to it. So it's a cool stove for 70 bucks. I may someday clean it up and find some parts, but it's not worth much when it's missing parts. Um, there's another stove over here. It's just a little box stove. Uh, I bought it for 70 bucks, which is 70 bucks too much. It was in parts. I thought it was complete. It's not. It has the wrong top. It's missing a, another piece there um, by that door on front. Um, so it's probably not worth anything. And here's another stove. Uh, it's a forest oak uh, missing an ash door. And I think they modified the top. There's no finial on top. I've never found another stove like it, but it's incomplete and uh, probably not worth much. This is a small stove here, a Good Luck Stove Company. I like this stove. It's real simple. It's complete. It's small. And uh, I've cleaned it up a little bit. And it's just it's a good little stove. This is a double star. It's what I call a poor man's stove. It's complete, works great. I have it hooked up here in the shop. And uh, you know, these things, you can usually find them for a couple hundred bucks. And if they're complete and they're working, they're, they're worth having and using. This is a Claremont. It's a uh, little more decorative than the Double Star. I have a plan for this. I'm gonna put it in a greenhouse. This is a backup heat source and uh, Anyway, it's a neat little stove. I've cleaned it up a little bit. It's complete and usable. And then this is Niagara Stove Company. This is uh, also, it's a pretty cool decorative stove. Uh, I found a couple others online and they look very similar. Um, but it's, uh, it's kind of a deep stove, but a uh, neat stove. And then this stove is it's a Palace Universal. I love this stove. It uh, let's see, has the mica glass on the front door, the badges. Uh, it is missing a horse figure that uh, has been broken off the top here. And uh, boy, I wish that uh, it had it. I'll find another finial for it. I don't think I'll ever find that horse figure. Uh, but uh, anyway, this is a neat stove. So these are the stoves that uh, I have out at the shop. And the uh, lesson learned on these is if you're looking for a stove, find a complete stove, find one that is uh, decorative, and uh, you usually can't go wrong with those. Uh, some of these uh, simpler stoves, if they're complete and they're a couple hundred bucks, they're uh, sure worth using and having around.